let's go and jump on to, I think Jaron enjoyed this movie the most. Uh, <laughs> Aftermath. Did you enjoy this movie? <laughs> <laughs> the Netflix movie. This is a Netflix movie starring, uh, and I said I was going to start giving recaps of these movies a little bit for people who don't know to see if it's worth their while. So this Aftermath is about a movie about a couple who's dealing with personal trauma, turmoil in their home marriage and relationship and decide to get a fresh start by moving into a new house. The problem is this house has a bunch of secrets that they didn't ready to uncover. So let's go start here, Jaren. What are your thoughts on Aftermath on Netflix? I like ghost movies. Uh, this movie can go suck my dick because it purported <laughs> to be a ghost movie and then disappointed in all ways possible. There is some creepy thin dude that was the lover of the previous person. So both of these people who die in this house were both cheaters. Um, one just built the house so they could keep their cheater in the house in like so weird. Walls. Yeah. And the other one was just fucking everything that breathed. Um, so they're both horrible people. They murder <laughs> suicide. Sean a Iceman comes to clean up the fucking mess and then says, Sean you know Asmore, Iceman, or was his brother? Oh, I don't, it's fucking, <laughs> I, think, I think it was him. He, I think he was, yeah, I'm he was Iceman. Sure. Actually. Yeah, but you could be, you could be right. Yeah, it's that's how little I care. Um, so Iceman uh, comes to clean up uh, the carnage and then thinks to himself, well, you know what? My girlfriend just cheated on me or my wife. Um, we need a fresh start. I'm going to move into the house that I just cleaned up all the murder bits in. And uh, and then they make it out to be like, ooh, it's a scary house and possibly haunted. No, it's just some fucking weirdo in the fucking walls. And then the, uh, the person that sold on the house, her husband or boyfriend is fucking like late on a Jared, rent. Are you reviewing this movie or are you summarizing the movie for everybody? <laughs> Well, you just told us what happened in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Well, spoilers. Um, it's trash. It's fucking trash. Uh, I will. I will say that it was filmed well. That's. I mean, it's. It's like. It's like a. It's like if uh, Lifetime started making slightly horror movies. Like it's, <laughs> it's like a movie. Lifetime horror movie. I will give you that one. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, no. It's. It's trash. 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 Uh, I'll go next, and then I'll let you finish up, Jason. And uh, all right. So, <laughs> aftermath is more like it should have been called aftermath because after you get finished man. getting the ridiculous reveal, you're mad as hell. I agree, Jaren. It should have been supernatural, and we should have had Dean and Sam Winchester roll up in there and bust some ghosts. The problem with this movie is this movie has already been done. It's called The Boy Part One. And that movie was terrible, and they were like, hey, hey, hey for part two, we're going to make it supernatural, because you know why? Everybody thought the twist in the first one was so stupid. So this movie decided to be like, hey, you know what? We can do this, but do it better. You guys just don't understand why that twist was good. So let's do that again. It was god-awful. Like, it, look, yes, you got to make this thing supernatural. And then, for me, I was more entertained by the relationship drama than actually whatever was going on in the house. I didn't even doubt about the house at this point. You got I was plenty like, of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, like this relationship drama. I'm like, I'm enjoying how this is going. This dude is back in her business that she was banging previously. You're not telling your man. Like, I was all in for this. I was like, okay, housewives, let's get this. <laughs> but then you're gonna put in like this mystery mystery, and then the worst part about it is like then you scooby do the mystery, and it's like, oh, really? It was the guy that sold you the house, he really did it. And you find out, oh no, it really wasn't all the way that guy, it was only partially that guy. So we're gonna keep going on with this mystery thing. Um, that was stupid. Also, you're going to tell me the wife has mental issues, but you don't really explain her mental issues. You just think, like, what was she, if she was so mentally inhibited that she need medication and her being off her medication started making her see shit, maybe she should always have been medicated because I don't naturally think to someone who has a mental issue and go, are you seeing things? You must have got off your meds. Like, no, I'm like, oh, crap, this is crazy. Like, if you're seeing things, like, that means you've always been this crazy and why well, haven't I known this? But no, all of a sudden she's just crazy because Ice uh, Iceman and Vampire Chick, she decides like she's a mental case. So uh, also two also hours. To, two <laughs> yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah. Are you fucking yeah. kidding me? <laughs> like also to shout out to the fact that like Ashley Green or the Vampire Chick in Twilight was supposed to be like the business big megastar and it ended up being Anna Kendrick. So sorry, Ashley Green, you're stuck doing Netflix movies. Uh, <laughs> but the last thing I have on this. <laughs> Is that I want to give respect to one thing on this movie that they did, and I want to give a slow clap to. The other woman wasn't a cunt ass, stealing ass, husband ass other woman. The other woman, the chick Avery, was like, You Call need your to go wife. home. <laughs> yeah, you need to go home. You need to fix this. 
Why are you here? Like, we could do this tomorrow. And when I saw that, I was like, what's the angle here? Because every movie I'm used to, it's like, that chick is going to be hot to trot. She's going to try to get in his pants. And she was like, nah, bro. Take your ice off. <laughs> yeah. You know well, your this, ice this, slide. Get your ice this slide. After how many fucking, yeah. This is after how many fucking red herrings this thing throws at you. What's up with the mom? I, oh, we introduced that issue. And then, no. oh, her sister disappeared. No one ever cares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your sister who you've oh, been around man. all day for like the first half of the movie. Yeah. Also, disappears. You had two fucking hours and couldn't the, wrap that the fuck up. I like, I like to give a shout out to the, oh man, you're so wet. It's gushing <laughs> and it's blood. Shout out to that for Netflix. You are nasty. You nasty, nasty <laughs> folks at Netflix. Who approved that scene? That's nasty, nasty. And people will watch the movie because if you decide to watch the movie, yeah, it's a scene in there where he thinks he's about to slide into something. Anyway, um, that is my review of Aftermath. Um, Should have been a ghost. Could have had Winchester's. Could have had, you know, Campbell's deep cut for anybody watch Supernatural. But instead, we got a uh, no Anna Kendrick vampire chick and uh, Iceman having marital problems with a weird dude creeping through the walls, making it worse. There we have it. Jason, your thoughts on the movie. Right. <laughs> so I wrote notes on this one. Uh, this movie hits like every single shitty trope about this kind of genre on the head. Like white folk <laughs> buying murder houses. You know, yeah, there's easier ways to buy houses that aren't have murder in it. Okay, like the whole thing where the bro the boyfriend never believes the girlfriend and see actually see anything. Like one time when I was still living with my son's mother, she thought she heard someone breaking in, and the first thing I did was grab my knife and like batten down. Let's let's fucking figure this shit out. All right, you dial nine one. I'm gonna look out there. If I scream, you call one. You dial the other one and call the cops. And you know, and this guy's like, you saw an arm. You fucking fine. And, you know, oh, the, the balls moved. <laughs> you're fucking like all this shit is happening and you're just still like, yeah, I don't fucking know. It's like, <laughs> come on, man. That's supposed to be your wife, dude. <laughs> also, every single character in this fucking thing is horrible. There's nobody likable whatsoever. The wife's a bitch. The husband's a dick. Her sister's a bitch. Her mom's a bitch. His friend's a bunch of dicks. They all fucking suck. The only person that was good was fucking Avery, who was like, you need to call your wife. Everybody else, fucking asshole. The ex-boyfriend <laughs> who is fucking like that is that is a red flag right there. He's like, well, I just I just wanted to get you the job. Get the fuck out of my life, man. You're you're ruining my marriage. And like, she should have said something, all right? She should at least told her husband. Like, all these people are just terrible. I was hoping the guy in the wall because I think we knew it was a guy in the wall. You're like, I knew this was like guys in the wall because it's there's no other explanation for this <laughs> there's no way that a ghost could be sending two hundred dollars two thousand dollars to the porn to this guy right <laughs> yeah ghosts don't have credit cards i was really hoping the guy on the wall would kill everybody i was well, like that was, really other, that was the husband dude that did that the husband yeah dude, but yeah, still yeah the husband dude did yeah, that yeah. But like, and then, and then, and then yeah put out the like come rape me ad or whatever yeah, what kind of but sick like, dude wants you to move out of the house? And that's what that was your thought. That was, you that was just through the windows. Yeah, yeah like, like just the windows, through shut the, out the movie. House. Oh, yeah. She is convinced that somebody's in the house, and yet they're still just like, oh, "I'm living here," and they can't turn a fucking light on to save their lives. They're always going around this shit in the dark. Like I'm sitting here in my house by myself right now. Every fucking light is on in my house. <laughs> I got light. My house ain't that big. Like the most. The, the, I guess the, the most terrible part to me is she goes to get her well firstly there are pictures taken of her while she's sleeping mm -hmm. and oh, the husband doesn't do, give a shit at all yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> and like he just like oh maybe it's a guy you were fucking fucking with like come on dude get the fuck out of here like I'm not going to show you these pictures if I was fucking somebody right yeah, and they're of you in my house sleeping so there's obviously someone in my, our house and then at the end she gets the video camera out and she looks at it and she looks at the whole entire thing in horrified gas <gasps> like as soon as I saw one arm come out from under the fucking bed I was out that fucking house <laughs> <All right? laughs> I'm not grabbing anything I'm just going to the neighbor's Hey, look at this. I'm not crazy. There's a fucking dude in my house. Come in there and figure that shit out. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit there and watch the whole entire thing. <laughs> there's, a, there's a simple fucking, you know what I would have done? I'd have been like, honey, we need to fumigate. I would have put, <laughs> put a tent around that motherfucker and pumped it so full of poison, nothing would have survived. <laughs> yeah. Like, everything about this movie was just like, 
it was cliched. It was terrible. It was not. And as I'm watching this, it's it looked like a made for TV movie. Even I guess it's made for Netflix movie. Mm. There's nothing really redeemable for me. It was there's nobody so, to root for except for the murderer. So my in my head canon of this, I'm like the wife should have been a psycho. She yeah. should have had a psychotic break, but it still should have been a ghost in there. So it would have been this metaphor about her battling her interpersonal demons and her uh, outer her outer demons. Yeah. And the ghost is a vengeful spirit that only goes after cheaters because they got cheated on and killed, which would have lined up while she was the only one seeing and getting attacked and not the husband. That's and called also having an, ima- an imagination, Jason, and the person who wrote this did, did not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. He let's go like... to our ratings, Jason. What are your rating on this? What are you Fucking giving us? <laughs> 0.1. <laughs> Jaren, what about you? 1.1. <laughs> 1. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Okay. Um, There's probably something worse out there, which is why it gets to point 0.1. <laughs> I, I gave it a 2 because it's no worse than any Lifetime movie I've probably ever seen. And some of the, the, the relationship drama was entertaining for me. So I'll give it a 2 where if it comes on TV, yeah, have at it. But I wouldn't go out of my way to watch this at all. I got a lot of questions about how many Lifetime movies you watch, my dude. You know what also is funny oh, to think about? Oh, sorry. Is that because you're married? dude that in the house, you, you know, when he goes and does something weird, I just can imagine him, like, scurrying back, like, <laughs> back to his little hidey hole. Because, like, <laughs> right. like, he does it within, like, four seconds. He, like, he runs out and does something and then, like, turn around he's gone. So he's got to, like, run away. <laughs> Also, like, where the fuck did, and I know it doesn't matter if it's a bad movie, bad movie's bad movie. Where the fuck did you get all these, like, medicine and chemicals from? Yeah, like, you're a fucking people, wall like... person. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, he clearly doesn't have television. This is his only entertainment. So, so like... Jess thought, and Jess made a good point. She thinks that, like, the guy that was living in the walls, because remember they said the chick had bought built the house from top to bottom, but the yeah. home, homeboy paid for it. Jess thinks that the guy in the walls was the guy we know was having an affair with, but he was actually the builder of the house, too. So that's why he was able to build his way around it because he was the builder too. Oh, I, she, that, that, I, and I was like, Jessica, like, that makes a lot more sense with the movie set. So, right, I thought, well, I thought the wife designed it so that she could have like a lover. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. But she was, Jess was saying like the guy, like, because why would guy any guy accept being stuck in the walls? Like, hmm. she was saying that she thinks that the guy was the builder of the house too. That's why the Either chick way, made all these. It's still dumb. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's dumb. Yeah, yeah, it's completely idiotic. And then he like, also has a working ghost. knowledge of medicine and syringes and poisons that he can go out and get while he's living in the. He's a wall person going out, like, oh, I gotta go get my shopping list and get my poisons to poison the dog. I kind of want to watch it again now. Just, I, I kind of want to watch it again now and just think about wall person every time he does something because that <laughs> phrase is making me laugh a lot. <laughs> Fucking wall yes. person. Scurry, scurry, <laughs> scurry around. Scurrying around. <laughs> Scurrying around, yeah. 